This video is brought to you by my Patreons. Thank you to all these lovely Patreons that have literally made this video happen. If they didn't support my channel, this video would not exist. Schmeichel would be out of a job. But yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn. It's the season three premiere. Is that the right word or is it a pilot? No, I don't think it's a pilot. It's a premiere. But as with all Timberborn's episodes, I will be picking the names of the beavers from my Patreon lists, assuming you're the correct tier and above. So what I wanted to do this time, it's a little bit different, but I wanted to try and challenge myself. I feel like the last few seasons, well, there's only been two, but things have gone fairly well for me. The map's been big, it's been quite generous and stuff, but no, not anymore. Now we're going to be challenged. So we're going to start a new game. And we're not going to be the Iron Tails this time. We're going back to the classic, the original, the Fox Tails. Uh, mainly because the last bit of the motto is sturdy wood. Lols. Anyway, this is where it gets serious. We're, we could pick any of these levels here. Oh, look. But no, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be trying to survive on the smallest map there is. Diorama. So, what do you want to call our settlement? Season 3, baby. Oh, invalid name. Make sure there are no illegal characters. Who's illegal? I assume I assume we can't have exclamation marks. Season three baby. That sounds like I've made like a baby in season three. So Welcome back to Timber Corners. This is season three, and the map is quite small. Oh well, that's actually tiny. If I keep zooming out, the map will disappear because it's so small. But let's get into the game. It's the Timber Borners. Do, 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 do. All right, first off, we've got to pause because this is going to get serious. It's going to get very real very quickly, so we can't waste any time. Second off, I'm going to introduce you to all my new beavers. Now, these first lot, they're all my king engineers, my top tier patrons. Just as a way of saying thank you. I've guaranteed you are all in Timberborn as season three, but from this point, any Patreons that are engineer grade and above, and even YouTube members, you have a chance of appearing randomly as a born beaver. And before we get started, I've got one more very important thing to do. I'm gonna come away from my city, I'm gonna come down here, and I've plonked a new district center, because I gotta get Shameville in there quickly, and path it up with a district gate to spit up the two districts because this little beaver down here, can you see their name? They are Schmeichel. You might be asking, well, Schmeichel is editing this video, so surely he's not going to go to Shameville, is he? Well, yes, because Schmeichel told me a little secret when I first started Timberborners. Do you want to know what it is? He said he doesn't actually like Timberborn very much. Hence, I'm making him edit this video, but also we are going to send him to Shameville. So there he goes. Shame. 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 Now you can see in Shameville, the only beaver child is Schmeichel. So with the important stuff out of the way, now we can get to work actually making this. I'm going to hit pause again. I keep forgetting to press pause. So first things first, we're going to need some wood. and we're going to build a lumberjack flag. Now we're going to shove that in this corner to try and be space efficient. And if we up the jobs of our district center workers, you can see they are getting to work building that. Now it doesn't actually take any materials, it just takes time to build. And I think I might plonk another one next to it as well. So they're both being built. We're then going to want another path down to here-ish. And one of the most important things we're going to need is a water pump. So if we get one going there, I've got space next to it for another one. I'm going to do a little bit of a path along there, maybe get the path ready for the next bit. And of course, I need to mark down the trees to be cut. So I'm literally just going to say, cut down all those trees, cut down all those ones. And even if you get bored, you can come up here and cut those and all of those down. So now you can see these guys here, they are to work us Montana Williams and planners over architects. They are chopping the first bits of wood that's going to build our colony. All right, so next up, once the water pump is done, we're going to need somewhere to store the water. So I'm going to build some small water tanks. Now, as these are too wide, I guess I'll just shove one there and maybe another one there for now. 
And I know not all of our beavers are employed yet, so it's probably worth getting a little bit of early science in. If we shove an inventor hut there, then that means we can research things. And one of the first ones we want to do is probably the levee. But for now, it's the first night. You can see this bar at the top, that shows we're, we're sort of halfway through the night, so everyone's just doing nothing. They're all just chilling out. They look a bit lost, actually. But look, now they're all, they're all going to bed, and they're just sleeping wherever they want to. Some are sleeping on the grass, some are sleeping on the path, and some are just sleeping in a construction site with a log through his ass. But anyway, the sun is rising. It's the next morning. Our beavers are still beavering away. We've got some carrying logs now. Who's that? Montana Williams. He's carrying it back to here. And then the builder beaver, this one, Bobby Five, he comes down and he's he's taking this over so the water pump can be built. All right, then I've got to sack one of the builders so that egb is now in there he's a lumberjack oh and over here who is the first log pumper of the season they are working hard pumping their log vigorously up and down and up and down it's orc top what a surprise what a surprise all right one of the next things i'm going to build early on it's going to be a bit of housing i'm going to get a lodge on the go because uh, as we know, with the folktales, to increase the number of beavers, there's no breeding pods. They just need space and accommodation. And not only that, it fulfills some basic needs of sleep and shelter, which isn't a bad thing. So I think we'll shove this there and there. I'm going to put them on super low priority, though. They'll just be built as and when. And the other thing I do actually need is storage. So if we come into this storage tab, we can build a log pile, which fits in there quite nicely. And then a small warehouse, which fits down there quite nicely. Right, okay, you can see some of my beavers are thirsty and they're getting a bit hungry as well. We've got 93 carrots left, although unfortunately for Schmeichel, he is hungry and thirsty, and over in Shameville, there's nothing. Oh, I tell you what, I feel, I do feel a bit bad. He's only a child. He's only a child. I'm going to delete Shameville. This is going to, we, we're playing this seriously. We're, we're no longer shaming. I will quickly just build a path around here to those stairs so we can go up there, though. And because these lumberjack flags, they don't reach very far. Can you see the limit, that green line? I'm going to build one up here because that will cover all of these dead trees. And that is a lot of wood for us. Meanwhile, ah, oh, they're all sleeping again. Is that Schmeichel being thirsty? Yeah, it is. he hasn't drunk before he went to bed. He just fell asleep. All right, and after a few days this, you can see bottom left, Tezgwin has grown up. So we've got an extra job going. And yes, as expected, they've gone up here. So Tezgwin is beavering away, chopping these logs down, uh, meaning more buildings can get built at once. Very, very nice. Oh, and just like that, our inventor hut is completed. But we don't have any unemployed beavers to go in there. So I'm going to sack a builder. So one of you, you're fired. You should now be an inventor. Yep, Bobby Five, go get us some science. Now, we need to start thinking ahead because we know there is going to be a drought at some point. Looking on this level, that is the water source. It comes from up there, down the waterfall, and then flows through and then straight up the map. This map's so small. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Uh, but we need to think about how we're going to block water off, where are we going to store it, etc. So whilst the sun sets, I'll, I'll fast forward through the evening and I have a little, a little think. Right, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, I've noticed there's like a step in the river here. So I feel like this could be a good place to put our first dam. So if we build a path that comes all the way down to there, we can actually extend this to include those steps and head down there because I don't think, yeah, we can't get all of those trees. So we're going to have to build another lumberjack thing down there. In fact, I may as well build that now. Our dam is going to go across there. So I may as well, I may as well get that planned now-ish. So if we click on the landscaping tab down here, you can see the dam is unlocked. The other ones we need to unlock later on with science points, but the dam pieces we already have. So we're going to click on that. I think what we're going to do is one, two, three, four. We can then shove a path on top as well, and that will get us to the other side and it will store a bit of water back here. Okay, things are looking good. We are getting through the trees 
pretty quickly though. That is a little bit worrying. So I think our next bet is to sort of, when we get some science created by Bobby, we should be able to unlock this, the forester. This allows you to plant trees and bushes. Oh, and that's something I've completely forgotten about. I need to get some, I need to get some food on the go. So up here we have berries. I need someone to pick some berries. So I come to this, the gatherer flag. We're going to plonk that there. And when that gets completed, someone can go and pick some berries. So we do have food still. So Kodiak Gaming, they are a 16 year old builder and uh, they are building the gatherer flag. And nice, it's built. And then EGV has gone in that and he should pick all the berries in range. I'm actually going to prioritize blueberries just to make sure. And essentially we just want to make it so he picks all of those. Then we can pause the job and put them on something else like chopping trees or building or something. But yeah, looking good. You can see the work has now begun on our first down. <gasps> They've already put a piece in. So you can sort of see how this works. It's got like, it allows us to store a little bit of water behind, but water will overtop under the path. Meaning we won't flood everything upstream, but we will store a little bit of water, which should help us in the dry season. Because the dry season is when the water stops running through. So we need to store up as much as possible. And by the way, in all that, Susan grew up. What is Susan doing? She is a lumberjack. Yeah, but of course, at this night time, she's not working. She's just chilling out with the others. And now she... Oh my good... Oh, did Censor that, Schmeichel. Bloody hell. What are those two doing? Oh, that was horrible to watch. <laughs> I felt like I turned the wrong channel on. Right, anyway, next up, I think up here, this is never, ever going to be green. I mean, it might be, but I would be surprised. It's probably going to stay brown throughout. So since we haven't started building this lodge yet, I am actually going to demolish that. Maybe I'll move that one as well. But for now, we're going to start building all of our housing up here. So we're going to put three in along there. We've got the science up there as well. And then we got Plenty of room to start doing farms and stuff. Nice. Oh, look, Schmeichel has grown up. There you go. Uh, he's currently unemployed, so let's put him to work. I guess we'll unpause this lumberjack flag. Schmike, you're in there. Go chop some trees, mate. Oh, no, he can't. There aren't any trees in range. Oh, man, there's no trees in range. Okay, well, I may as well delete that lumberjack flag. Schmeichel, you're fired. Oh, man, I've been wanting to do that for so long in real life. Um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, I guess we can just up the number of builders. So Schmeichel's gone in there. He's going to help build like the dam over here and these living areas and stuff. Cool. Right. Let's fast forward a little bit. I do feel bad that most of these guys are sleeping outside, but three people are inside. At least they do seem to be the youngest. Uh, so they probably deserve the beds. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Oh, look over here. Our dam is nearly complete. Tom H. Magic, Kodiak and Schmeichel all doing the business. We got a few more logs to deliver, but we should be good. And we've beaten the dry season. That's sort of one of the killer things you need to do that will wipe you out. If you don't build a dam before the first dry season, you're basically screwed. Right, so it's day eight, which means we've survived seven days an entire week. Uh, things are looking good. We've, we've got 60 science, which means we can come into the wood tab and we can unlock the forester for 60 science. And that will allow us to plant trees and bushes. However, you'll notice in order to build it, we need logs and planks. And at the moment, there's, there's literally no way that we're making planks. So I think our first thing we want to do, we probably want to make a little workshop. So we're going to build a lumber mill and I would put this by the water and use a water wheel, but I know that there is a dry season coming. So is it worth doing a power wheel instead? I mean, I can put Schmeichel to work then. I think that's probably the thing to do. So we're going to select lumber mill. We're going to shove it up here on the brown. We're going to put it there and then we're going to come to the power tab. We're going to build a power wheel. I mean, I prefer to call these by their technical name rather than the one in the game. So that is the Wheel of Shame. So we'll shove a Wheel of Shame there. And then once they're both built, we can get to work making the Forester. Because uh, we're going to have to replant these trees. Things are getting pretty serious on the wood front. We're, we're going to be running out of food soon. Oh yeah, we're massively running out of food soon. So I think before we make more beavers... We're going to prioritize getting more food. Yeah, I'm going to do that this side of the river, south of the river. So we can put a gatherer flag there. That will allow us to pick these berries. Yeah, and what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to build a farmhouse. That takes 25 logs, but we can pretty much just plonk that there. And once that gets built, we can come into the plant crops tab. I'm going to plant a load of carrots. Now, I need to be somewhat efficient on this. I need to only build enough carrots 
that they can actually plant. I always go like overboard. So maybe if we try like that sort of strip or maybe that sort of strip. There is sort of an area that each farm can manage before like they start growing again and it all goes out of sync. Um, but eyeballing it, I think that's roughly what we want. Oh, and look over here. We've got a new beaver. They were born last night. The first birth in the colony. Baby Samantha. Oh, hello. <laughs> you walk quite weird. You walk a bit like a T-Rex. <laughs> it needs one more log. One is being delivered by Kodiak. And he's just doing the final touches. And there it is. Right. Time to sack Schmeichel. All right, and there you go. He is in. All right, everyone with me. Shame. 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 I've literally got my hand in my air and I'm pointing at him. <laughs> Shame. Shame. All right, so the sun is rising and I've just looked at my resources. We, we've got some issues. We do have some mega problems. We've only got four food. Over here, all the berries, they're, they're completely gone. Uh, over here, Kodiak is going to work. We really need to get this farmhouse done. I've max prioritized it. But as soon as that's done, we can get people in there and we should be okay. All right, so the farmhouse is done. The beavers are heading over. Who are the farmers? We got Tom H and EGB. They are going to get to work planting carrots. They're completely done, which means rather than watching EGB and Tom H sit on their ass, we are going to pause their jobs, put them back as builders, because they've got another house to work on over here. And also, whilst we're here, now the trees have been demolished. We can put this path in, put a path up to there. And because our lumberjack flags don't reach, we can shove another one up here um oh look now we got we got 10 planks is that enough for the forester yes we only needed seven so we'll unlock the forester for 60 science yes and we will build that in that corner there nice because that means we can come down into plant trees and bushes and we can get them to work on the maple tree because the maple tree is the best way of getting logs the tree per day is all calculated it's the best and the sooner we get them in the ground, the better. So we'll do that. I mean, we may as well even, we may as well do down here as well. Although, no, look, look, I don't want to do this corner. Can you see it's like dark? That's because the water doesn't reach over there. So we'll do it like that much better. That makes sense. And we've just been told it's, there's not long until the dry season. 2.8 days. A uh, little bit worrying though. We have, we have zero food. Everyone's getting hungry. How hungry are you? Oh no, they're literally, oh no. Oh no, I may have cocked this. I may have cocked this. How long do these carrots have left to grow? Oh, they're only 28%. I think I may have cocked this. I may have cocked this completely. Although, have I? What's up there? There, that is, that's a chestnut tree. They are chestnuts. You can eat chestnuts. All right, so emergency plan. We've got to do paths and then we need, we need to unlock stairs. It costs 70 science. Thankfully, we've got 153. So yes, unlock that. Now, wooden stairs cost one log and four planks. Thankfully, we have seven planks on us. And then up the top, we're going to need a food gatherer flag. If we shove that there, that should cover it. And then I'm going to temporarily pause an inventor hut because Bobby5, you've got to go in the forest. So we've got to get the maples planted ASAP. Right, and up here, thankfully, the gatherer flag is done. Plan is over architects is coming up. We've got to set the priority to chestnut tree. And I just got to hope that gets us food and our beavers don't die. We're going 24 hour working because I gotta get I gotta get some food. Plans over architects, you've gotta get up there, pick the chestnuts. Oh no, plans over architects has fallen asleep. <laughs> okay, let's turn down 24 hour work and then there's no point. There's no point. But now they're awake, they're picking the chestnuts again. Oh, I just hope we've done it in time. Oh no, look! Bobby Five has died of old age. No, Susan just died of hunger. No, we're losing beavers from hunger. Oh no, come on, pick faster. There are some chestnuts waiting here now if people need them. The trouble is I'm not sure if these beavers are smart enough to get up there and eat. Oh wait, can they not eat chestnuts raw? Can they not? Oh, they can't eat chestnuts raw. We've got to cook them in a grill. Quick, build a grill, build a grill. <laughs> oh, disaster. All right, get it built, get it built. <laughs> oh no, who's that? Schmeichel died. <laughs> oh, at least you went first. Oh, Samantha just died as well. Oh dear. Oh, starting this game so hard. It's been so long since I've started this game. It's not even the map size that's hurting me. It's just me being an idiot. Why didn't I do food? I'm sorry, Samantha. You will be missed. You will be missed. Unlike Michael. Ah! 
good news is no deaths overnight. And this is oh, 25% the way there. Come on, let's fast forward. We can make this. Montana Williams died. Orc Top has just died. Oh, we're down to four beavers. Just four lowly beavers. How did I cock this up? Tom H. Magic has died. EGB has just died. <gasps> But the grill is made. The grill is made. How many? We only have one. We only have one adult beaver. All right, Kodiak, it's on you to look after these little baby beavers. You're, you're the last person standing. We've got up to 24 hour working. If we can get you in the grill, we need we need chestnuts and we need logs in order to make these. So you can see he's got logs. That should fuel it. Does he have the strength to make it to the thing yes he does so put the log in now he's got to go grab some chestnuts oh he's getting more logs he's getting more logs idiot kodiak don't get logs go get chestnuts you knob oh has he no he's, he's carrying chestnuts yes kodiak all right he's gonna make it he's gonna make it right he's gone inside he's gone inside now just cook just cook no where are you going cook you don't need any more than that oh and the drought has started brilliant absolutely brilliant so over here the water, it is no more. Thankfully, our dam is doing the job, though. It's held the water back, keeping this area green. Not that that particularly matters right now. Uh, Kodiak, time to wake up, mate. Can you wake up? I just need you to cook a chestnut or two. That's all I need. Right, come on, ease up, ease up. Where's he going? Oh, he died. <laughs> he died. Oh, no. Well, I think that was the shortest season of timber borners in the world. <laughs> Thanks once again to the patrons for supporting this video though. As I said before, literally wouldn't exist without you guys. So thank you very much. Um, sorry I killed you all though. But anyway, that is Beaver Life. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, love and death. Bye.